Every year, our federal government spends a good chunk of money researching cures for cancer. You know how much of that is spent researching cures for childhood cancer? 4%. 4. No matter that, 15,000 kids get cancer every year in the United States, and that number stays at 4%. That is unacceptable to a group of kids in Plymouth who lost their good friend to cancer two years ago when he was just five years old. So unacceptable, in fact, they did and continue to do something about it. <laughs> For a couple of years, Sam Lee was king of this Plymouth cul-de-sac. And these three, Catherine, Nicole, and Rachel, they made up his royal court. So Sam and his family moved into our neighbor's house and we started playing with them because that's what we do because we're all connected in the cul-de-sac. <laughs> hey Sam, how high did you get? I play harder. What really stands out about that is that these kids are the big kids. Sam was just under four years old. And that wasn't the only difference. I just wanted to give him a life, you know, where when he was around us, he didn't have to like feel bad about anything. He could just be himself because it didn't bother me that he had cancer. He was just a regular little boy to me. We wanted to be nice to him so we didn't have to like think about childhood cancer. He didn't have to think about his cancer and wouldn't feel bad about it. So we just made, we wanted to make him feel like good about it and not have to feel so bad. So cool, Sam. For two years, these three did exactly that. They gave Sam a normal neighborhood childhood until March of 2016. When Sam finished his fight with brain cancer. My favorite memory of Sam is probably playing games with him outside. I think my favorite memory with Sam would be when he would put on swim goggles and be like a monster. My favorite memory of Sam was when we'd roll balls down the hill with him. Okay. One, two, three! But memories just weren't enough for this court. They wanted to pick up Sam's fight where he left off. And four months after Sam died, these three organized a fun run. They raised $10,000. They were eight, nine, and 11 years old. We put our energy from grieving into the fun run. Just made us work that much harder. We wanted to raise money for childhood cancer research, um, so no other kids would have to go through it like he had to go through. So we decided to, like, we all thought of ideas that we could help Sam and childhood cancer, and we came up with the fun run. Some people say kids should just be kids. This is grown up stuff. That kids can't do something like this. What do you think about that? Well, why can't we? We're going to learn in just a year or two. We just learned early. But you guys really wanted to do this thing. For real. Where did that passion come from? I just think the passion just comes from him and his smile and his laugh and everything about him. It's hard um, to do a fun run for someone that you've lost, but it's also fun because you're trying to keep his legacy and his message alive. Full transparency, Sam was a friend of mine, uh, so was his family. And if you want to go to the fun run for Sam, this is the third year. It's coming up in just a little over a week, and it's ran by those kids yet again. And so far this year, before the run, they've raised $20,000. And they want you to come to make this even bigger so you can donate or you can come run with us. Saturday, July 21st, Bassett Creek Park, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a run. It's a carnival. It's an honoring of the legacy of Sam Lee. So come join us. The details are on my Instagram page, and we'll post them with the story. Can't do it. Can't talk about it. You got me. Okay, you got right me. <laughs>